Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into Bell Collective. Let's go. So we start off with Latrice and Letitia. Let me say this. Latrice does not trust these ladies, right? Now, she and Letitia did have a good relationship. Uh, Letitia seems to be hurt by the fact that they're not talking like they used to. But when she brought up how they were acting at the reunion, like they was going to jump her, like, I know Letitia over here crying, and she's hurt because Essie told her that Latrice called them co-workers. Latrice don't trust y'all. Because if you was acting like you was about to jump me with Marie, what are we talking about? So Akeisha is doing a photo shoot. She is partnering with this lady right here. Hold on. This lady right here for Bam Blue. And what it is is nightwear and sheets to help when women go through menopause. It helps cool you while you're sleeping. I think that is amazing. Because Akeisha is having some problems in that menopause department. But Letitia came over to have a conversation with her about what Latrice said that Letitia and Glenn was trying to do, which was set Willie up with some girl in the inbox, right? So Letitia talked about it. Akeisha invited her to Willie's birthday party. She's going to have a fish fry. But it was just really strange how Letitia was talking in the in the confessional. I'll come to the party. Like, why you, what was that energy about? You know what I'm saying? Why does she have that kind of energy? I ain't got no problem with it. I can come to the party. Is there some stress between Akeisha and Letitia? So this is Selena and her chocolate man, Mike, right? They've been engaged for four years. Selena said that she is ready to marry him and he is definitely ready to marry her. And she, you see this notepad over here? She is just jotting down things. Selena, I'm going to need you to, we, we need to hurry this thing up. Y'all could have had a three-year anniversary at this point. You should not just be jotting down information. Are we going to see a wedding at the end of this season? That's all I want to know. How much longer do we have to watch Cliff make Latrice look crazy on this TV? The way Latrice seems to be a really cool chick. You know what I'm saying? Um, she She's not problematic. I don't think Latrice is problematic at all. But my problem is Cliff. Like when they were sitting down having this conversation and he's talking about I'm the man and I'm this and I'm not a female and I'm a male and blah, blah, blah. Subtitles. I know Latrice is not letting him talk in no business deals. Like I am tired of him making her look crazy. But he feels some kind of way about them bells and um, Latrice has been invited to Willie's party in the park and I don't think Cliff is going to go. And P.S., Latrice, Cliff is never going to see you as an equal because he is a thousand years old and he is set in his ways. So either you're going to have to just do what you're going to do and quit asking him and go on by your business or you're going to be going through this for the rest of your life. Now let's keep going. So at this point, you know, Akeisha is getting ready to give Willie a birthday party. Um, there has been a bad storm that has come through Jackson. Willie is stuck at the airport for 12 hours. Akeisha is a wreck because she got to go to the hotel because she don't have no lights. So JJ and Gucci had come over to help her, but not really. And JJ bought Willie some gifts to help him when he needs Akeisha and she's not there. I'll just leave it like that. But I love this moment right here. Gucci was talking to her, and she was like, friend, I don't think you're okay. And Akeisha wasn't okay, right? She's going through menopause. She's raising very small children uh, without her husband because he's at home doing his job, and she's here doing her job. And it's a lot on her. Without the lights, Willie's coming in. It's supposed to be his birthday. So she just said, I just need you to help me. Because Gucci coming over there to me, I ain't coming to do all this kind of work. Girl. <laughs> So Willie has made it, thank God. Akeisha's in the kitchen. He's outside with the kids. I'm glad he made it. So Willie is looking at his gifts that JJ and Sophia bought over for him. And Akeisha is telling him that she got to go and do something. He was like, you going to leave me with the kids? Akeisha, <laughs> the way she went towards him, and she was like, I've had these kids for two weeks. You haven't spent any time with them. Willie, just take care of the kids. 
but I love their dynamic because Akisha had raised her voice just a little bit. He was like, oh, wait a minute, hold on, what's going on? Why you got so much bass in your voice? And she backed down a little bit. She got herself together. So Akisha is explaining to Willie like what she's going through with menopause and all of that. And he's learning and she said, you're going to have to take this ride with me because I want to be able to tell, <laughs> I want to be able to tell my daughter this. He was like, Holly is too, right? But she's going through something. So Willie's going to have to be a little delicate with Akisha right now. Shout out to Willie with the suit on, honey, because he put that on, didn't he? It is tailored, made to fit. Willie, you look really nice in this confessional. I love this suit. Like, it is something about a man in a suit. Men, take heed. Get you a nice suit. Even if you buy it from Ross, get it tailored. So everybody is starting to show up in the park. Um, Akisha has her friends over right here. He's going to fry the fish because Willie likes seafood. So they're going to get this party going. These two. Like, did y'all feel a little hate coming from Letitia and Glenn? Because Glenn made note, I have two Super Bowl rings. Sir, what does that have to do with anything? I just felt a little hate coming from Glenn. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little stress there. Did you feel that tension? I felt the tension. Y'all, when Marie Monroe showed up with this little blue jean number on right here, I thought that was so cute. Okay, Marie. What did y'all think about Marie outfit? I thought she looked so pretty. Child, and here come Tambra. Marie don't have nothing for Tambra at all. I believe she turned around and walked away. And then they were like, where's your baby? Because that's your plus one. She was like, you didn't say kids. Tambra, where's the baby? Marie is a little aggravated with Letitia because Letitia is really stressing her out about making up with Tambra and Latrice and all of that. And Marie is like, I don't want to go back down the past. Look, we have we have crossed this road and she's not going back. I don't know. I mean, I've seen her and Latrice together since, but I don't know about her and Tambra. I don't know where they are in their relationship. Child, I told you Cliff wasn't coming. So Latrice has made it to the party and her plus one is Selena. Now it's real crazy because Sophia is not here. I think she said they were they were going out of town when they was over to Akeisha's. So they feel like this is perfect. And Selena was talking to Akeisha. Wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hold on. Child, they was trying to eat uh Lat Latrice up. Because Latrice to come out here to the park in a leather dress. Latrice where did you think you was going it's it's a fish fry but she looked cute though so akisha is like oh selena you're here and she was like mm, gucci's not here but there are going to be times that she's going to be here and i know that i don't know how y'all's situation is but you can't be around her so you know there may be things you can't come to selena said it's okay it is what it is and if i can't come i just can't come i am ready for that to be resolved I will not be discussing anything other than what Selena has going on. I won't be talking about all three of them together because we've heard all that already. I think we talked about this. This is the point when Letitia was trying to get the girls together to get to talk to each other. She was like, it's not that bad. And Tamara quickly let her know it's not that bad for you, right? And like Letitia was crying. Marie don't want to talk to Latrice or Tambra. Latrice don't want to talk to Marie. Ma Tambra is not talking to Marie. Tambra is not talking to Marie at all. So I hope nothing happens because she is not here for her. Letitia is devastated because she's like, at this point, y'all, I'm begging. Can y'all just do a fist bump or something? Then Latrice going to say, what time? <laughs> she said, nah, I ain't going to be able to do that, baby. So... Eventually something happens because we see them on social media together. So I'm looking for a peace treaty. I don't know when it's going to happen, but something's going to happen. I think it's up for Tambra and Marie. Because Tambra said the things that Marie has done, she wouldn't do that to her worst enemy. So Akisha is giving her best effort here, but it's on deaf ears. So Letitia is really torn up by these ladies being torn up. And she said they were selfish and they left. So I can't wait to see you next week. Bye, y'all.